Hi, I'm Dan. This is my uh, project. It's a portable uh, guitar amplifier which I call the Ironcaster. Uh, the goals which I wanted to reach on my project were to have an amplifier which is portable, which could run off batteries and mains, um, to create a high quality looking vintage amplifier. Um, I wanted to have volume, gain, and tone. And finally, I wanted it to be used as a foot pedal too. This is a circuit. As you can see to the left, we have the first prototype. Um, I started just experimenting with designs I found on uh, the internet. And then finally to the right of me, we have uh, the design on the breadboard, um, which was a fully made circuit which I was happy to go with for the project. This is it finished on PCB. Um, it was the first PCB I've ever designed and I'm, I'm happy that it went uh, well. And then finally we have the finished circuit which is fully enclosed in the amp. The next one. Things I learned. I learned how to, do, how to manufacture PCB. I learned how low and high pass filters work. Um, I also learned how to install DC jack safely. I didn't want to be oversupplying the circuit with too many volts. And I also use my multimeter more efficiently to fix and check problems. Now this is the amp head. Over here was the first day of making it. Um, there I just drilled all the holes out for all the components to fit through. Here we have the spacing test where I put the inputs, the LEDs and the potentiometers to see if it all uh, fit together properly. And then over here I applied the uh, first coat of paint. Uh, I hung it up so I could get an even finish on it. I sprayed it a few times to get a nice thick full finish and then right here we've got the fully um, made out head working with the circuit inside. And positives, I think it has an unusual finish. Um, I used a spray paint uh, which was called aged iron. Um, it has a rough uh, surface as well. I used centre punch to make accurate drill holes and finally because uh, it had a metallic uh, floor in the amp head I made a little brace so the circuit would short out. And this is a speaker cabinet. Um, first of all this was just me experimenting around with it uh, with the first day on old pieces of wood which I had lying around. Then the next picture was when it started to become more um, apparent in the project. Over here I made the recess where the amplifier head can sit. Started rounding off the corners, I used a router for this. And then finally I put in the speaker uh, panel so it would fit nicely. Here I was covering the, material, uh, covering the amp with the material. Uh, I countersunk the holes so the screws would sit flat. And I also put sellotape on so when the material folds over, there would be no bumps or lumps on the amp. Okay. And then finally, last but not least, this is the final design, which is completed, which has the amp head sitting on the speaker cab and the speaker front wall fully. Um, positives, it's small, it's light. I think the material I use looks uh, aesthetically pleasing. Um, it has a line in so other amps can drive it, so if I want to make a Mark II version of the amp head, I can just pop it straight on the, the amp cabinet and it also has a carry handle. Things to consider for next time. Um, I want to use CAD um, a bit more on the design of the speaker cabinet and the amp head, which would make the manufacturing process a lot quicker. Um, I use my redesigned uh, circuit board. I designed a smaller, thinner one so I could make the amp head even smaller. Design a battery compartment so it's really easy to change the battery. And last but not least, design a louder circuit so it gets more watts. Well, that's the end of my uh, project. I really enjoyed building it um, and exploring all the different opportunities uh, I used in the design. Um, I really hope you enjoyed my presentation. Do you have any questions? Thank you.